Hello, welcome back to your history class with the chapter The Making of the National Movement. Today in this module, we will discuss about the Khilafat agitation and the non-cooperation movement. See, we had already seen in the year 1915 the advent of Mahatma Gandhi. It means in Indian politics, the great hero entered and he had taken the tour of the entire nation to understand the problems and the situations of the Indians. Then he supported the movement in Champaran, Kheda and in Ahmedabad in three consecutive years and became a national popular leader. After that, in 1919, Rollet Act was imposed in India, it, which gave enormous power to the police, British police. People were protesting against this inhuman act. In that, we had seen the Jallianwala Bagh massacre tragedy. Gandhi ji was also hurt from the bottom of his heart with this incident. So he tried to start a mass movement which could put some effect or pressure on the Britishers. So soon after the First World War, So, soon after the First World War, a harsh treaty was imposed on Turkish Khalifa. Khalifa was the spiritual leader of the Muslims. The leaders of the Khilafat movement, Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali, these are two Ali brothers, wanted to associate with the non-cooperation movement. The Muslim wanted the Khalifa to retain control over Muslim, sacred places in the Ottoman Empire. Gandhi ji supported the Khilafat movement. Gandhi ji also supported the Khilafat movement. The non-cooperation movement gained momentum through 1921 to 22. Thousands of students left the schools, schools and colleges to join the movement. Which type of schools and colleges? the schools and colleges which were run by the British. Many eminent professionals gave up their professions to join the movement. Bonfires of foreign clothes were burnt in different parts of the country. The boycott of the foreign clothes resulted in import falling drastically between 1922 to 22. Now see the non-cooperation movement which was firmly launched on 1st August 1920. Tilak passed away in the early hours of 1st August. How did people participate or look at this mass movement named as non-cooperation movement? The non-cooperation movement remained non-violent at most of the places but some people interrupted the message of Mahatma Gandhi in their own veins, mostly to suit their local grievances. The Patidar peasants of Kheda, Gujarat organized non-violent campaigns against the high land revenue demand, liquor shops were picketed in the coastal area of Andhra Pradesh and interior part of the Tamil Nadu. The tribals and the poor peasants in Guntur district of Andhra Pradesh staged a number of forest satyagrahas 
to protest against the new forest law because according to the new forest law they were not allowed to enter in the forest and to use any of the forest project the khilafat non cooperation movement gave enormous support in sindh and bengal province means got the popular support in these two areas in punjab the akali agitation of the sikh demanded to remove the corrupt mahant from the gurudwaras who were these mahant is given in the glossary also in your page number 150 in old books tick in assam tea garden laborers the laborers those who were working in tea gardens demanded a big hike in their wages they shouted slogan gandhi maharaj ki jai in many of the folk songs in many of the folk songs of assam gandhi ji was referred as gandhi raja and they thought ki in india one king is there he will also come to in uh, assam in these tea gardens and they will be also free from this bounded labor then what happened during the time of 1922 to 1929 in india when the non cooperation was on its peak one incident took place in chori chora in february 1922 a police station in chori chora near gorakhpur was set on fire by a crowd the peasants were relating against police firing on peaceful demonstration 22 pol it is said that ki 22 policemen were killed in this incident saddened the by this incident mahatma gandhi decided to call off the movement at its full swing after that gandhi ji followers wanted to take an constructive work in the rural areas to increase the base for the congress on other hand some leaders wanted to fight elections in the council because they did not like that ki when the movement was on its peak it has been taken back or the movement has been withdrawn they wanted to enter the enter the government so that they could influence a certain policy because they find ki this could be not the right one way For according to them if they become the part of the government then it is easy for them to put some pressure on certain policies of the british the gandhian worked in villages during the mid 1920s and could be able to extend their support base that proved this proved very useful during the civil disobedience movement this was the way which was very very beneficial during the time of civil disobedience movement rashtriya swayam sevak sangh and the communist party of india was formed during 1920s the revolutionary leaders like bhagat singh was also very active during this period simon commission another important incident was known as the simon commission in the year 1927 british government decided to send a commission which decides on india's political future this was headed by lord simon that is why it got the name simon commission but indian did not like that commission because there was no indian representative so the absence of any indian in this commission infuriated the political groups in india and it was welcomed that ki simon with this slogan like simon go back simon wapas jao simon go back simon wapas jao you had already seen this incident in your uh, national festival days many of the houses are also performed on the same now the dandi march 
Meanwhile, when all the political leaders were there in jail, important political leaders were there in jail, a kind of political deadlock was there. The Britishers saw an opportunity to impose the salt law. The salt law, you can say, gave a monopoly right to the state, means government of on the manufacture and the sale of salt. Mahatma Gandhi and other nationalist leader argued that salt was not uh, salt was an essential item of our food and sent, and hence it was wrong to impose any sort of tax on salt. Moreover, the issue of salt affected all the rich and the poor. Gandhiji declared that he would lead a march to break the salt law. So Gandhiji and his follower marched from Sabarmati Ashram to Dandi, a coastal region in coastal area in Gujarat, to break the salt law. Gandhiji picked up a handful of salt in front of the British factories to symbolically protest the salt tax. The salt movement attracted supporter from all over the all people of India from all all walk of life, including the peasants, tribal, and the women. The government tried to crush the movement by taking brutal actions. Thousands were sent to jail and most of the prominent leaders were arrested. The Government Act of India, 1935, prescribed a provincial autonomy. Means, जब भी कोई हम मोमेंट शुरू करते थे, तो मोमेंट को रिप्रेस करने के बाद में ब्रिटिशर्स सिर्फ हमको एक लॉलीपॉप पकड़ा देते थे। This time also they had given us the government doctor of India, which prescribed some autonomy at the provincial level. Elections to provincial legislature were held in 1937. The Congress formed a government in seven out of eleven provinces. Then the Second World War broke out in the year 1939. The Congress leaders were critical of Hitler and hence they decided to support the British in the war. But they wanted independence of India in the return of their support after the war. However, the British did not agree with this demand. And the Congress ministers resigns in protest. You can easily see the pictures which are related to this one. Hmm? That's all in this video. Remaining part of the chapter will be sent in other videos. Have a good day.